Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean experts. And today, I wanted to take a few moments to dig into the check-in process for your cruise. Checking in for your cruise is incredibly critical, and it's even more important that you do it in a timely manner. It's gonna make getting to the ship, getting on the ship, and experiencing your cruise so much better if you do it early on, as soon as it's available. I'm gonna dig into why and go over all the details here in just a minute. But keep in mind when you're ready to book your next Royal Caribbean cruise, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the spaces inside and out, we have an amazing relationship with the cruise line, and we know we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way. Now let's dig into the actual process of checking in. Now, before you start the actual check-in process, you're gonna wanna gather a few things with you to make it nice and simple. Now, keep in mind, you can check in on a computer by logging into the Royal Caribbean website and accessing your account. Personally, I find that doing it on a tablet or a phone is much simpler, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So you're gonna to wanna to have your device ready, charged, and of course, ready to go, but you're also gonna to wanna to have a few other things. You'll want the ID that you're using to travel. Now, we always recommend that you travel with a passport book with at least six months validity remaining on it from the end of your trip. But in some cases, you can travel with a state-issued ID and a birth certificate. You're gonna to wanna to check out those exact details on royalcaribbean.com or by checking out the Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative. This is through the State Department. It'll talk all about the ID that you're gonna to need to travel. So you're gonna to wanna to have all that with you. And I do recommend that you actually have the fellow travelers with you as well, because you're gonna take a picture for security. That's gonna make it nice and simple where you start at the terminal and head right on through straight to your room or suite. Now, when you book your Royal Caribbean cruise, you're gonna to wanna to set up an account on royalcaribbean.com. Now, of course, if you already have one, you're gonna use that to log into the app. Now, I highly recommend that you download the app on your phone or a tablet. I recommend a phone because you're gonna use this throughout your cruise on board. Whether you're accessing it to do the chat feature or you wanna check out your schedule or even reserve certain things, you can do that with your app while you're on board. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do is find the cruise that you're checking in for. Now, if you have multiple cruises, you can select from a list, but if for one reason or another you can't actually see it, all you have to do is click on the button to add a cruise, and then you're gonna look it up with your last name, date of birth, and reservation number. Once you do that, it's gonna load your cruise vacation. Now, once you select the correct cruise, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the little person in the top right-hand corner. That's gonna take you to the cruise itself. You'll scroll down and there'll be a blue button that says start check-in. Now, check-in actually occurs between 30 and 60 days prior to your cruise. With your final payment being between 75 and 90 days, that's a really good time to check and see when your check-in will open up. That can change just a little bit, so I do recommend that you go back after final payment a couple times and see when the check-in's gonna start. This is really important, especially if you wanna get an early check-in time so you can arrive at the port and start enjoying right away. Now, the next step is just to click on the blue button that says start check-in now. Now, I mentioned earlier, you're gonna to wanna to have several things with you. This is really critical because once you hop in, you're gonna see that you have check-in for each passenger on your cruise. Now, you'll first have the travel information button. Now, when I click that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take me for me personally, so this is Daniel, it's gonna take me in and allow me to start the check-in process for me. Now, the very first step is actually to scan in the identification you're using to travel. Personally, I'm gonna be using a passport for this cruise as I always do, but you also can select several different options here. Maybe you're traveling with your passport and your enhanced driver's license. You'll also have the ability to do birth certificate, state ID, birth certificate, military ID. Those are the combinations we talked about that you can find on royalcaribbean.com. Now, once you select what you're gonna utilize, you're gonna scan it in. So for me, as I mentioned, I'm gonna use my passport. 
So as I do that, it's gonna use the camera on the, the phone itself. Now keep in mind, if you've never used it to check in before, you are gonna have to click the button to grant access to the camera. Now it's really simple, I just take the passport itself, I'm gonna hold it up, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna use the bar on the bottom and it's gonna capture my information. So it's already been done for a few seconds, so now my passport information is loaded in there. I'm gonna to continue to scroll, and the next stop is the security photo. Now this is the photo that you're gonna utilize throughout your time on board. When you head to the ship, they're gonna look at you when you use your CPASS card to scan in, they're gonna see that it's you and give you access right onto the ship. They're using facial recognition software in the terminals and on the ships themselves to make this a really nice and seamless experience. So I'm gonna click the button that says, take a photo. I'm gonna look at the camera itself, give it a little smile so they can enjoy that smile when they look at you each and every time you board. And now I've got the security photo in there. Now there's two buttons that you can select. You can select it just for boarding or you can select it for boarding and photography. If you select photography, that means it's gonna give them access to that picture and as they take pictures of you throughout your cruise, with your permission of course always, they're gonna be able to access those. So you click your CPASS card in the photo area, then it's gonna pull up all the photos that you take throughout your entire cruise. So it's up to you, but I grant access to both. Now the next step is selecting your country of residence and country of birth. For me, that happens to be the United States. You select the one that's perfect for you, and then you're gonna put in your loyalty number. Now the next step is putting in your home address. Now after you put in your address, you're gonna put in some emergency contact information. Now this does need to be somebody who's not traveling with you. Maybe it's a friend, a family member, but essentially if there were a true emergency, this would give Royal Caribbean someone to access to notify them of that emergency. Now after you've input that information, the final step is to put in your credit card. Now the great part about doing it this way is you're not gonna have to do it again when you get on board the ship. Now all you have to do is click on the, the button and if you've worked with them previously, if you've already been on a cruise, it's gonna store your credit card information in the app itself, just like in the cruise planner. You can select that card or you click on the button and you can add your own credit card or debit card as well. Now keep in mind, you have the ability to add this for all the passengers in your room. That way you can link it together. So I'm gonna use one credit card for myself, my wife, and my children. Now the final step is to agree to the terms and condition. This is something that you have to do to go on board the cruise. So you'll click, the, you've read the terms and conditions after you've read them, of course, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit continue, and that's gonna take you through the final step of check-in. Now, after you've completed that information, the next step is to select your arrival time. Now, the arrival time that's available to you will be based on when you check in. Many of our guests check in the moment it becomes available. Once again, you'll be able to see it in your app roughly about 60 days ahead when it will open up for you personally. Right now, I'm checking in very, very late, so there's only later check-in times available. That said, I'm going in star class, so I've already worked it out with my genie, but I am gonna select a time because you have to do that to complete the online check-in. Now the final step is going to be the health questionnaire. This is where they're gonna ask you basic questions on whether you've been ill recently or not. This is something that you'll find on every cruise experience. And of course, you're gonna find it in a lot of tour experiences as well. But the thing about that is it's not gonna open up until the day before your cruise. So that is actually gonna be left blank until that day. You should get a notification in the app, but you can do this the day before your cruise or that morning before you head to the port. Now you'll notice right below that, it also has view set sail pass. So I can actually access my set sail pass now even before I finish the health questionnaire. My recommendation is that you go ahead and click on that. It's gonna open up your set sail pass. Now one cool feature is once you do that, you can add it to either your Google wallet or your Apple wallet if you wanna have that there for quick access. You can also take a screenshot of it and I really recommend that you do that because sometimes when you get in the terminal, maybe there's a Wi-Fi issue or the internet's not working exactly right, you're gonna have that set sail pass and you're gonna breeze right through to head on board and enjoy your cruise. 
Now the next step would be to check in each and every member of your travel party. It's gonna automatically populate everyone who's in your reservation itself. But at the very bottom, there's a button you can click on where it says add guests. Let's say you're sailing in a two bedroom aqua theater suite with six guests in two separate reservations. You can add them and you can check them in as well. Same thing, you're just gonna to need to have the last name, their date of birth, and the reservation number. And you can go ahead and complete the check-in for your entire party. Now I'm sure by now you can see why we prefer to do it with the phone. When I've done it myself, it's taken about two to three minutes per passenger, less than 10 minutes, my entire family's checked in, ready to head to the port and start enjoying our incredible Royal Caribbean cruise. Now keep in mind the app can do much, much more than that. We have other videos for you to peruse on the cruise planner items and so much more with hard travel. Now keep in mind, if you wanna have the best Royal Caribbean experience, make sure you reach out to your hard travel advisor to book. We know the space is inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line and we know we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.